Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. Today we're going to be racing the Cars Land Cup Series at Atlanta. This is the 20 something version. Regardless though, Cody Ford starting pole. Uh, he won at Denver Motorsports Park, the oval edition of that track. And here he is today starting pole. Uh, so right next to him is Bird. Bird has two wins this season, has had a interesting playoffs, to say the least. High starting playoff driver is Crazy BGD, number 13, uh, Shake and Bake Racing Ford. And we got a few other drivers throughout the field strung out, kind of like we had at Lamar last week. And uh, we'll see how this goes. It's our last uh, Super Speedway of the round. We got Bathurst next week, and uh, that, that'll be second to last race of the season as we're starting to wind the season down. Uh, got Dark X right in the booth with us today. Uh, you got any first thoughts? Yep, yeah, man. Round two into the round of eight. This, I mean, this race should be more tamed in the in, in a CCS series, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. Credit BDG is one of our top playoff drivers who was in row number three. Yep. Uh, See, he's able to. Uh, he is a uh, factory teammate with uh, Cody Forge and the Wood Brothers organization. Yeah, so those guys could be worth. You never know. Based on teammates, if you got one guy in the playoffs, I don't know what that's not. They can actually help each other. And really? I see next to him in the 28. He's their second highest uh, qualifying playoff driver. The 82. That'd be a real gaming creek. I think maybe with a top 15 or something like that. He, I think he's in good position to be at least at the spot of the round of four. Yeah, he's currently 32 to the good. Uh, this would be a great race clutch because uh, Bothurst is not a truck you want to try and uh, come from a deficit at. Uh, not saying it's not possible, but it's just it's it, it, it's not a very track worthy uh, track to be doing that at. But uh, so we got three races left, and uh, you better make them count now. Especially this round of eight. Um, for our first race done at Le Mans, pretty good clean race, 10 laps. Um, and we had a for sure stuff there. Uh, the Gaming Freak was able to really clutch there. But I think uh, Atlanta here is another chance to come clutch, uh, especially for drivers that aren't so good at road courses. This is the race. You have to clutch. You're definitely right about that. Then we see a driver that's next to him that is Ridgy. He's one of our one of our driver that is below the cut line. Yep, currently below the cut line by sixteen points. Uh he uh, got his first win of the season at uh and his first crew win at Coca Cola Super Speedway. So he might be one to watch. Yeah, but let's let's see who's our lowest playoff driver at the moment. Will qualify not too good. Uh, actually, it looks like it's a third and Lexus gaming who qualified dead last. Four four playoff drivers out here outside the top thirty. I think he's is he above or below? He is currently twenty three above the cut line coming in. Third and Lexus gaming is. Granted, thirty nine laps. It's a somewhat. Uh, Super speedway like track, so you could get some positions fairly quickly, and uh, who knows, he might be up front at the end of this thing. Yeah, well, he does have an advantage as long as he stays out of trouble. But He's I got think a slight advantage. Yeah, a little bit of slight advantage. As long as he stays out of trouble, I think he should be good. Yep. Maybe a top twenty-five or or better. Yep. About to go to the command here at Atlanta. Again, Pulse Sitter, Cody Forge. Driver, start your engines! Command's been given. Look like our pace car of the day is going to be the good old Toyota Camry. Yeah, that's it. Got to love Atlanta. See how these boys do today. Got 
as we wait for the pace car to pull off after turn number four. Comes in. We wait for the flag man. And we are a little bit. Actually, we are now green at Atlanta. As Cody Ford gets a nice little, nice little gap as he takes the lead in turn number one. Battle for fourth between. I think that drummer chicken out of weeb. Yep. Uh, keep in mind these, uh, the, the 81 and 21 here teammates uh, had uh, some issues in the round of 16 at Rockingham. Um, sure, his teammates they may have figured that out. We'll see. And also another thing to note, uh, Robert Crown Jr. is still keeping to, trying to keep his streak alive of at least two wins a season in this series. And he's so you know, far done that successfully. Yep. But he doesn't have any draft Oops. on the bottom right now. His teammate, uh, Dormachik, doesn't quite up close to him enough, so I think that 60 may get the run. It depends on where this 18 and 48 goes and the run off the corner. Oh, 18's Ooh, in the wall. Oh, so... Side by side at the line. Since Bird runs in the line, he's going to lose a lot of momentum. Yep. And there are now the three, almost four wide for the lead, but Drummer Chick pulls out of it. Yeah, BGD pulls Back out of it. Two wide. He knows he can't risk that much. He's running up front right now, which to finish here would be pretty darn good, especially for a rookie run right now, but uh, you don't want to end it like that by three no wide. stretch. Yeah, crazy BDG finds himself in the middle, being in a three way battle for fourth. Earth Crown Jr. led at the line. And now it looks like Cody twenty wants the lead back. So the... Gotta say, it's a nice little battle for the lead between two drivers that wants another that wants another win. Got two. But I think Drummer Chick gonna have to something to say about that as she's now been her teammate for a second. Yep. She goes two, way uh, low. Two dead. Dawn Patrol cars fighting aggressive up here. Yeah, I think these guys wanna. I wanna end this series on a high note. Yeah, for sure. These guys are really going at it. Especially Drummer Chick has not won since Bristol 2021 and has definitely had the speed to win this year. Uh, pretty much equal to their 2021 speed, uh, to be frankly uh, honest, in my opinion. And a Birch Crown Jr. I, this has been seemed to be probably Birch Crown Jr.'s worst year, really, in my in my in my opinion. Uh, unless he can start pulling uh, some strings late, uh, it'll probably end up being his worst season. But nonetheless, or good season nonetheless. And uh, don't okay, count him out for uh, another win yet, just yet. Well, he wants it badly, and show those crazy BDG as he sends it down low. Yeah. He's going to try to take second away from Cody. Yeah, here's the thing. For BGD, him taking the lead would be huge. Because uh, the only other play after we had uh, Real Gaming Freak lead a couple laps last week. But uh, Crazy BGD, him being a play after every lap led is a point. Uh, so that is a point he does not have to worry about next week. If he can get up front here and lead some laps. Uh, and he's got his teammate Cody Forge right in front of him. So for... Uh, two, four cars right here, all kind of teammates, or uh, two teammates of each other, the Dom Patrol cars and Wood Brothers slash Shake and Bake, run up front. And actually pulling oh, away oh. a little bit as the TM Alliance between these two, uh, they seem to have decent coordination despite not really being coordinated, uh, pulling away from the 48 and the 4 who are one car teams. It looks like these guys are going to be, I mean, you say two team battle for the lead, even though you have... Pretty BDG and Cody, and you have, like I said earlier, Great Crown Jr. and Drummer Chick. Looks like that field there. They're nearly nose and tail. Yeah, it looks like the pull away was very brief as uh, Not a Weeb and uh, Anthony McClure have already caught up. Crazy BDG trying to lead a lap here. It'd be big if he could, if he can. He will lead at least one at lap. Line. One lap ain't much, There's... but it, it, it could decide if he makes it to the champ four or not. And it could decide if he may, wins the championship or not, despite not really being. In radar, he could win the championship. Grant, I know, would be probably too deserving, but that's the system we have for now. And uh, if he's able to use it the way he uh, is currently right now and make it to the end, win the championship, uh, that's just how it is. 
Oh, that's pretty good. Hi, that's... Shadow Crazy BDG, they're gonna leave the door open for a drummer check, and then... Where did not a weep come from? I think he tried to make it three wide for the... For... For third, but... Didn't quite have a run. He's gonna pull back a little bit. Yeah, didn't quite have and a he run. He does have... I gotta say, this is some good side-by-side -side racing. Between a lot of manufacturers and a lot of teams. Holy moly, even the 64 is on his way up to the front. Do not sleep on Shangle. He's got two wins this season. Or actually, no, he has... He has one, I think he has one win this season, but he, he should have two. Probably more. Uh, he's, he's definitely been... Uh, he's, he's just had no luck. Ro Roach Racing had a really rough start to the season, but I think they're really starting to figure out here at the end of the year. and uh, Really just a good run for them today, and uh, hopefully he continues. Uh, Gaming Freak not wasting any time to try to get up front and defend that current point situation he has as he actually messes up a little bit it holds up to 45 well nearly three dodges battling for a position yep got a, a 71 of uh bobby isaac up here as well who actually finished uh he got a top 10 last week at lamar 89 brad stover in the back he uh gets in the wall but notice he's been going a little bit too close to the wall there his past few laps uh he's gonna get into that 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 time around Early at three by three, as we see Joy Paints Bird. Well, that was three wide, but I think something yep. is that. Last week's winner, Joy Paints, currently tied with Marty Thresher for most wins of the season. They only have uh, this week, next week, and Cars Land to try to break that tie. Uh, the odds of that happening is very slim, but uh, who knows? <laughs> Uh, but nonetheless, a uh, stellar season by the 77 and the 59. They've really put their stuff together. Uh, I just can't really stress enough. They've just really had a great year. And the whole team. Behind very... her, we see Reggie trying to get past her. Yep. One of our playoff yeah, drivers came in minus 16. Currently trying to. I, I, I honestly. Eh, he's, he's running. <laughs> Yeah, we got to deal with Gunther, as he's going to go on the low side. And we see Bird, Jeff, Jordan, and Kuzo behind them with nearly three wide battling position as well. Car in the wall in the back. It didn't look like it was a huge issue, though. Just some scrapes. Oh, Reggie in the wall. That's going to cost him a ton of time. He didn't lose... Well, he didn't lose that much. Well, and now he does. Yeah, he's going to lose all back here. He's going to lose all the way to the back. Yeah, a ton of time well, there. Not... Just sent it too deep in the corner, got in the wall. And uh cost him a ton of spots. And yeah, in fact I, I think, think he I think he started back here and uh any of the, of the spots he gained he just lost. And we're not quite halfway oh. yet, but we're getting there. Oh, he might get in the wall again here. No, nope, avoids it this time. I think we'll throw away with Quadro and I think that's Sean Ard in the six seven. Quadruped, another playoff driver with Trackhouse, teammate to the to the five. And Reggie again in the wall. Uh, he might have a tight car in that five car. It might be tight. Same with Yoika, who also got in the wall there. These cars are starting to run. These tires are starting to wear. Cars are starting to get tighter. Yeah, I think they're trying to do it a hell million, but it's not going to work in Atlanta. I mean, Quadruped's in the one car as he's trying to battle Brandon Nelson for position. And quite possibly a spot in the championship before. As we've seen these things come so close before in the past. I mean, every position is a point to gain. As long as you can stay there. And these guys are definitely pushing. And I think that is Brandon. No, it's not Brandon Nelson. Neil 3. I think that is. Oh, it is Brandon Nelson. Here's another guy who's looking for a good position to stay in the top. At least about the cutoff line. Yep. He's currently uh, just nine below coming in. Uh, he's not running too great either, but the rest of the playoff competitors aren't either. As the 80, it's just really been the 82 and the 13 who's been stealing the show at this point. Um, I haven't really noticed anyone else kind of coming up there. I mean, the five was coming up there a little bit, but hit the wall, lost a ton of, ton of ground there. But we'll see how that all we'll see how that all figures out. Yeah, quadruped, and I think that is X Gaming in the number. He's there as well. Gaming is uh, still just not really the track position they want. 
They've been getting around some cars, but they just don't really have the speed today, and that's not what they need. What do you drive a team to gonna try to follow Chef Squid to see he can have him get to the front? Something like or that. he may use them to get by these other guys. Granted, we are now past halfway in this race. What do we tell? I don't want to tell who let the most laps to be looking at the battles into the backside. I see Thrasher, Rain, and I think. Mayoko kind of rebounded a little bit. So the Rain is a little bit. It's going to follow. Oh, Yoko. As we see, he's in front of Gar. He's going to be running his last season. With Pontiac. Yeah, for Pontiac. Pontiac's so leaving after this year. Though. We had Exxon. And our second to last playoff driver is the 22. Yeah, Daniel Paulus has just not had a good round at all. Uh, Reggie yeah. running last right now. Man. Had all that track position hit the wall, and I think it even might have just given some damage or something. Uh, that car is really tight, not handling the way he wants it to, and he's currently not where he wants to be. And it bothers me. Not an easy track to clutch at. You don't want to have to. Yeah, there's going to be a long way to get a rebound back to the front. Yep. But currently, he's fighting not to be last, who is... I believe that is the 44 of... Lethal, lethal Motor, who we haven't talked about in a while. If he wants to get this season over with in the flash, hoping for a better one next season. But surprisingly, he almost... He had a chance of getting a few wins this season, though. Believe it or not. And Oxville got passed in the last lap. <laughs> Man, that was a hard break. I'll tell you on that one. A slide job, three yes. wide. <laughs> Granted, that race was a cluster crap anyway, but still. TC, uh, the, the series is not going to Knoxville ever again. I'm going to say it right now. Oh. Racing was amazing, oh. but the trash is too small. We can't fit that many cars in. I imagine being in Eldora. <laughs> I, don't think we're going, I don't think we're going to Eldora either. Oh, that was flipping to light as we see. Well, I don't see much of comers and goers. I let someone try to get into the wall. We see a, we see see a lot fewer wall hits with as this run's gone on. And I think people are starting to get more into their grooves. These tighter cars, except for Reggie, who is really struggling right now. He hasn't been able to really keep up with the draft very well because that car, I think, is just too tight. Um, setup wise, uh, just from pure speculation, yeah, in, like, we'll have to see what he yeah. says after this, but, uh, yeah, definitely just yeah, he... didn't, I think something wrong with the car, with that five car. You're not going to be happy, that's for sure. But so far, I mean, two, yeah, maybe about two or three guys are in the back. And the guys in the front is... Yep. see who their leader is at the moment. Tend to go this time by. Uh, it's been a long time since we've been up front. Who's leading at this point? Alright, looks Probably like... A lot of us. Oh, a drummer chick. Yeah, we've been focused so back on the guys in the back. We just haven't been watching the races and racing up front. Drummer chick hasn't won a race since 2021. He's got about nine laps this time to try to make it happen. Anthony McClure... Part-time driver from uh, NCCRS, won a race to NCCRS at Bristol, that's all he's got. He's trying to get a win here in the cup. <laughs> uh, try to pull a jet, Jet 07 did that at Talladega. That'll be something, and German Jake can head on, she'll be... she make it 4-4-4 four for, four for Donald Trump Motorsports and wins. But it's not going to be easy when you have McClure on in our bumper. Yeah, I and think you I'm would be not... correct. Uh, Dom Patrol Motorsports would have four, every driver on their team to have, it, have exactly one win, I think. Yep, at if least she, one if win. If she's able to clutch, if she's able to clutch, uh, McClure is not going to back down here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
It's not gonna be easy. Especially when you got Nada Weave and you also have the seventy the seventy one as well. So I'm not gonna count these guys out. With even though the laps are winding down, it's still anyone's race in the top four. I mean, you see, I'm not even in the 54. Yeah, Dripsy Scheib looked for win number four to make it a three way tie from those wins. Season points champ. Got eliminated, I think, last round. Just couldn't quite hold on. Uh, had a great year. And yeah, still having a great year, uh, nonetheless. Well, at the moment, it looks like these guys are starting to get single file. Yeah, I think over Since time, uh, there's people are taking less risks. I think it's just the run on the tires, I think. Yep. Is my only is my, is my only is. guess. Ooh, I'm also another two white for the lead. Now that we will take the bottom first. Try to get second. And uh, drummer chick is I mean she's you gotta give her credit, she's trying. Oh yeah, her percent. Well, I think send it in is not making it easy. Claire's gonna send it in. So he definitely one. wants this win. Had the lift there. Eighty one's gonna get the run off the corner. Oh, most definitely. Okay. I mean, it's the end of the season. You want to end on a good note. And yep. that's what Trick wants to do. Has not won since that's Bristol 2021. Looking for third career win and fourth win of the season for Don Patrol Motorsports. And I, if my calculations are correct, um, would probably be the only four-car team to have all four of their drivers with a win in their pockets in the Cup Series. Right, there's a, some two car teams that have uh, succeeded in that, but four car teams is, is more significant. It's more of That'd be an feet. interesting stat if it stays as it is. Yeah, we'll see. If I mean, we, we know that Domitro has four different cars that qualified in another series, but four different winners, that's going to be an astounding accomplishment. Yeah, that's if these guys can come up clutch. The speed is different here. Uh, the 81 has. Uh, currently with the advantage right now, that four car is trying to make something work on the bottom. Things just get that 81 off their line, which they found a really good line around this track. This is a super speedway, but there is a line you can run here that's just a little bit quicker uh, just by itself without draft mattering too much. Especially oh, with the car behind you. Yep, uh, three to go. This, or Actually, no, two laps to go. We're coming to the white flag this time. I'm sure it's a line or sure it's not the dirty air effect because he's definitely there he just can't get the most low enough to finish the pass well it's also he doesn't have any help from behind that's another thing white flag here in Atlanta Grimmer Chick 81 hasn't won since Bristol 21 uh and over yeah we still got a couple more corners but it's looking very good here for Drummer Chick 81 and the 81 Tama uh, Chevrolet Doing a big milestone for Dot Patrol Motorsports here. Got a few more corners left to go, and and she will be your winner. Remember, she get one. So, but not winner. only did she break her winless streak, she also makes history for Dot Patrol to making it four for four as a team. Yeah, wow. for a team uh, and. Next week is Bathurst. Uh, yeah. Got any last thoughts, Stark? Well, truly really exciting to make history in Atlanta, but who's the who's the highest playoff driver that finished in the top? I think the top ten. I think that was. It would be uh, actually the highest finishing playoff driver to not finish in the top ten. Or the top 15, or the top 20 with Crazy BGD getting 17th. Wow, so all around the 17th. So the player drivers didn't do this well in this race, what I thought they would. Yep. That's something. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see how Bradford go, Bradford go for the next week's race. Yep. Well, for me, Dark X Rain, this is the CCS. We'll see you next week at Bathurst. <laughs>